everyone. This is Tomo from Mimaki Australia. I'm here today uh, at Mimaki headquarters showroom. Uh, today I'd like to quickly show the new Mimaki desktop and low-end uh, cutting plotter which is CG AR series. So in behind me, uh, I've got the new 24-inch 60 centimeters uh, CG 60 AR cutting plotter, which is entry machine. The price around the $2,000 US and $2,400 for, uh, $2, for US and $2,400 uh, Aussie. And uh, yeah, it's average price in uh, global. And uh, I would like to show the couple of uh, features about this machine. Um, this machine is you know, purely replacing uh, CG60 SR3, our uh, industrial standard low-end cutting plotter. And it's be, it, it is released in uh, June 2022. So a couple of features on this machine. Uh, this machine comes standard as the uh, you know, machine only. Uh, those, what you see here, um, the stand and the uh, media basket as an optional item. So normally the people will just install the machine on the, uh, on the table to run the small, um, the short run uh, decal and stickers for signage. Um, the benefit in this machine, the first of all, this machine originally has the three pinch rollers. We used to have only two pinch rollers on the 60 centimeters size, but we've got three. The reason we added this is, of course, for the durability and the consistency of the cut. But not only that, but we also support the short run packaging. The machine has an optional item, the little plastic uh, table in order to attach on the front side and the back side of the platen in order to feed through the sheet, not only the vinyl, the flexible vinyl, but as well as the, uh, um, the heavy duty seat, which is uh, for the uh, craft packaging craft, the paper craft usage, as well as the uh, uh, paper craft applications. But for the signage, sign graphics purpose, to start with, you just need machine to start with. The second um, the feature of this machine is regards to uh, Windows cutting driver support on the, AR, the new AR series. The purpose of Windows driver is you don't need to have a you know, complicated uh, Adobe Illustrator or CorelDRAW to start plotting, but you can only design, uh, you can design the simple graphic in either uh, Microsoft Office software, um, the Excel or Word or PowerPoint to draw the line and print or the cut on the cutting plotter. So I'd like to quickly show how you start doing a Windows, uh, uh, Windows driver installation and uh, uh, setup and output. All right, to do the Windows driver setup, uh, first you need to plug the cutting plotter to uh, a computer, which you uh, use, uh, you send uh, data from uh, uh, Microsoft Office. So for connection, the machine support USB or the Ethernet. Today, I'm gonna use a USB to you know the quickly plug the machine. So plug the machine side, and also plug the cable on the uh, um, the computer side. And you can start up the cutting plotter. The while you start, are uh, you starting a cutting plotter? I'm gonna show you on the computer side how we are operating the Windows driver setup.
All right, for, for Windows driver setup, first go to Mimaki website. Today I'm at uh, Mimaki Australia's website because I work for uh, Austra uh, Mimaki Australia. So just search Mimaki Australia and the product CGAR series from the top menu. And then click download. So you get a menu of uh, Mimaki driver and uh, Windows Plotter driver and firmware updater. So for Windows Plotter driver, click CGAR Windows driver and go ahead to download. Once you download it, you can just simply start the application here. So let me move out. So the menu comes up to start. So now the menu is asking uh, to um, install the 32-bit or 64-bit for Windows. So today I have a uh, Windows 64-bit uh, for uh, Windows 10. So click that. The next display comes up is to find or select the printer. So it's a uh, you know, basic process, uh, you know, close to you know the how you set up a local office printer. So today I've got a uh, you know, local USB connection. So click on the bottom, add a local printer. Click on next. So here uh, you have a choice of uh, use an existing port or create a new port. Use the existing port. And within this uh, list. You've got a uh, you know, CGAR um, plotter. If you don't see this, you might need to install the uh, USB driver, the Mimaki USB driver, uh, addition to the uh, in advance to install a plotter driver. So make sure you install that properly before you go into a Windows driver setup. But I have here the CGAR in a list, so click that and go to next. Now it's showing what prot uh, what plotter is connected. So I'll just highlight and go next. And which version of a driver you want to use? Just use uh, you know just go ahead and keep uh, uh, selecting the next. Right. In case if this is uh, you know more than second time uh, to install a driver for reset up, you might need to uh, put a unique name of a cutting plotter. Um, instead of just saying a CGAR series because it will overlap the setting uh, sometimes. So I'm gonna just put a dash two. And next, do you wanna share? Uh, no, I don't want to share. So just go next. Set as a default printer, I don't want to. So just say, you know, the finish. All right, after that, what I wanna try is um, go to uh, uh, just open a Word document. So the, for example, what I've got in here is a text box with a text motor. And I've got a little um, the icon. You know, you can just come from the, you can just select from the uh, you know, text box, the, the object shape, whatever you want. Or well, you basically, you can type whatever the, uh, the word and you can just uh, uh, select a font if you wanna if you wanna just um, uh, make a quick logo of your business or uh, your name plate and song for the signage. So after you make a design, make sure that the everything you wanna print or cut is shown as the black color. In case you know, I've tried before with uh, you know the default blue color. For example, if you go to shape and the rectangle two here, the blue color, it won't cut. So it must be a black color from my experience. All right, rest of the, uh, the workflow is after you design um, the shape, you go to file, print, and you select a plotter you set up. So I set up a plotter of CGAR series dash two, select that and click print. All right, before I print, I'm gonna just set the uh, you know, media quickly.
All right, for setting up media is very uh, easy. So I've got you know, the small roll of the media here. So just to set onto the, uh, the back side. In case if you've got, um, if you don't have uh, you know, the print, the plotter stand, that's okay. You have the uh, cutting plotter comes with a little, you know, the seat stand on the behind. So you can just use that. Right, after setting it up, Make sure that the uh, you know the you use you know either two or three pinch rollers in a proper position under the uh, white level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just move it out until we can do the edge to edge. So probably around here. So locate first roller here, second roller here, and third roller to here. After setup, just put on uh, the put a pinch roller, uh, pinch roller down, and detect a media roll or a seat. If you have a even small roll, make sure you select a roll and select a number of the pinch roller as three. I've got an error message for uh, you know the roller position. So what I'm gonna do is I might need to move out the media further to the right side and just to use the uh, you know this position of the roller. Alright, I'm gonna give it a try. As a default, it goes automatically to a mark detection, so you just uh, cancel by hit end. So it will uh, move uh, you know, the cutter knife to the, uh, you know, towards to, uh, you know, uh, the origin position. So I'm gonna just uh, pre-feed the media because I tested a bit you know, before. So just a pre-feed and uh, okay to decide the position. So rest of the workflow is just in the, uh, the software, the Microsoft Word. Click cut. Make sure you are in a uh, remote mode to start cut. So it will start cutting. Let's see how it goes. It's pretty fast and it's pretty detailed and uh, you know the good accuracy. So just wait for uh, uh, maybe half minute to finish cutting. All right, that's good. So just go out from a remote to a local as post feed. So I'm gonna show you how it was printed, right? So it's got you know, the really the details. So you just need to work out for the uh, you know the pretty much good reading. But at least it cuts out from windows pretty good. Right? How is it? The, uh, another, the another advantage of this uh, AR series is uh, we've got a middle pinch roller. You can decide uh, whether you use or not by just uh, you know, the selecting a lever. So you can just you know, the put it on. Up. You can just set it up or down or change the pressure if you want to. Gentlemen, thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the field. Thank you. Right, behind the CG60AR model here, 
there are three pinch rollers, right? So the pinch rollers can be lifted up the entirely and bring down to pinch the media. So if you look at the back side of a pinch roller, there are a few levers to, you can manually work on. So this black lever is for the pressure changing. So if you bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. So this is for the high pressure. Bring it down, bring it down. This is a lower pressure. So the both sides of the pinch roller must have the same setting always. So make sure they are the same setting. If not, the media can be skewing easily. On the middle pinch roller, there are two levers. The purple lever is to lift up and uh, bring it down the uh, you know, entire pinch roller. So you can lift up when you don't want to you know, remain the roller mark. Or you can bring it down when you are cutting the uh, uh, heavy duty media to hold the media well. And you can, or, or you can of course, you know, change the media setting, the pressure setting, lower and higher. The higher is the same as those, lower is the same as those. So make sure that there are three of them. If you are using all three pinch rollers, three black levers are in the same uh, pressure setting. Thanks for watching.